sorry about the stream coming out, folks. Today, we are finished this shit, the, the figure. We might as well finish this now. I got time. Uh, Commander? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked! Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker. Drop us right on top of that bastard. Get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. Yeah, and that's the one thing I hate about this mission. The only thing I couldn't get was the, um, Marion tech saved me up, but to be honest, it's fine.
you don't need the mango through this area. You will need it for um, the second half of this.
I also probably have one of the most crazy as me today. this game. Okay. And then we move on to map on to Mass Effect 2 tomorrow.
going by a lot faster than I thought it would be. Now, for the love of God, do not heart crash on me. Come on, Saren's already got a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. You can't understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it say? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It's not clear. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. It cannot be stopped. It cannot be stopped. We take the vehicle into the creepy. Oh, yeah. Yes, I, I thought Sarah was in our track of land. They must have been in too much of a problem. Well, we just have a problem. I'm still a romance terrorist. Some kind of containers? They look like stasis bombs. 
The Brodian probably tried to keep himself alive in the cryogenic freezer. Something must have gone wrong. This bunker would be in there too. The bots are dead, and so is anyone inside. All of them? There must be hundreds of those bots. It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush! I don't think Saren's behind this. No, because this is a... What do you think we're gonna find down here? It has to be useful. Specifically targeted on. Don't get your hopes up. The only thing we can depend on right now is ourselves. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment. But that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Where are you? Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. What do you want? Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand. Or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government. As it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you'd surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. 
Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small-scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. Kano, it's not a weapon. It's a backdoor onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries, the Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel Relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left. Far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel Relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space.
Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay, and the cycle of extinction will begin again. Can you help me? Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Move. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Let's move now. Plot to us about this kid's in it all. <laughs> so many races looked up to the Protheans as paragons of civilization. They were fooled by the Reapers, just as we were. They failed. Keep it moving. I've got no intention of ending up like them. control my butt.
We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay. And these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Yep, and we are on an arbitrary time limit. Detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. Incoming.
Control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council 
is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. It's me. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the Council? What have they ever done for your kind? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Save the Council, no matter what. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. Yeah, even if I play... I hope the Council appreciates this. Even though the, uh, I will play Renegade, I will always save them. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the goddess. Make sure he's dead. Of course it's not that easy. We would have gotten the uh, thing by now. He's dead.
This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. safe now. Where's the commander? Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered and here to recognize the, the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice. 
and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? Emily Anderson after what happened. You know, no matter what happens, Udana gets it. But I'd rather have Anderson do it because it's kind of a... Um... We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. <laughs> Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The yeah. Captain's a soldier, not a politician. Yeah. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The sure. Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As Humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both Humanity and the Council. This isn't over yet. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. Well said. Because that's the original before this. 
reason is the UI system was a problem, the Manko was a problem, and the graphics was a problem. I am aware that you can fix the graphics in the um, settings, but I wasn't aware about that. Two of those issues got fixed. Um, the makeup still needed some more problems. Besides that, I give this a, probably a solid eight and a half, uh, eight out of ten. And, and as this is a really solid, much better solid entry than the, uh, how it was. Even though I couldn't 100% like get the um, Solarian um, League medals, I probably missed it on the planet. I will say this is definitely worth playing and worth your money. As for the rest of the game, we'll find the rest of the other two games. We'll find out um, tomorrow as we will start Mass Effect 2. We will also start um, continuing Resident Evil 8 tomorrow. As I said, this is a solid 8.5 out of 10. It would have probably been a 9 if it wasn't for the makeup problems and a few um, animation errors. But mind you, this is all in for Mass Effect 1. We haven't tackled probably the big one, Mass Effect 2. Now, I'm aware of Mass Effect 3, they do give you the alternate extended ending as it. I'm not going to fault the game for that. Uh -huh. For Mass Effect 3. I'm only looking for its game, its problems that I can like see throughout this thing. But Final Verdict, like I said, I hold out the full Final Verdict until I beat Mass Effect 3. See you guys tomorrow. And Mass Effect 2. Catch, I'm Gunnels 3. Catch you guys later. I should go.